Welcome to the AP Physics C prep course for Don Bosco Technical Institute. This presentation is for Day 1, Part 1, Class Overview. The most important thing to do at this point is to register. You must register for this course in order to receive a grade, in order for there to be any record whatsoever of you taking the class. So you register for this class in the same way that you would register for any other summer school class. You can download the high school summer school registration form from boscotech.edu. And that includes a, uh, on the last page, it will include a checkoff box for this particular class, as well as the associated tuition. You can then deliver or mail your registration and tuition to Bosco Tech. There is the address. Doing so will ensure that this class will show up on Net Classroom, our online gradebook, and that you will receive the appropriate credit for this class. Okay, a few notes on the timing or pace of this class. This is a three-week class consisting of between 13 and 15 lessons. In order to accommodate a diverse array of summer schedules, you can go at your own pace as long as you finish on time. I've put the latest possible start date as well as the end date in the annotations. Please be sure to give yourself a little leeway because learning the material will probably take longer than you think. Tests must be taken in person at Don Bosco Technical Institute on either Monday or Friday. Before each test, you can look over homework solutions and ask questions. Effectively, there will be a help session before each test. If your summer plans prevent you from meeting these requirements, please feel free to contact me at the email address listed in blue. I have made accommodations for, for example, international students in the past. few other rules. First of all, integrity. Now this is an online course and the, the uh, limited amount of interaction that we have means that quite frankly it is more difficult to enforce integrity in this class. However, my expectations of integrity, that you present your own work, that you give credit where credit is due for other people who helped you out, those sorts of things, basic ideas of honesty and academic integrity are the same as in an in-person course. Grading. 30% of your grade is going to be homework. 70% of your grade is going to be tests. Grade will be posted on Net Classroom, just like any other class at Bosco Tech. The requirement to pass this class is a 70% or higher, just like any other class at Bosco Tech. But just to let you know, this is a very basic calculus class. This class should not be that hard. And so if you're just barely passing this class, you should reconsider taking AP Physics during the regular school year. Because the actual AP Physics, physics class is much more difficult and much faster paced than this particular class. A word about materials. Not many words, but a few. The required materials are basically just internet access via a computer or tablet. And when you watch the videos that constitute the lessons for this class, you will want to view all videos at the highest possible, uh, the highest available resolution, because some of the writing gets kind of fine, and in order to resolve those fine details, you really need to watch things at, say, 720p or higher. Second thing is you will need a printer in order to print out the homework assignments and the excuse that my printer broke or it was out of ink is not an acceptable excuse. No book is needed for this course. In terms of communication and getting help, most communication will be via email. Please check your email account daily in case I send something out th during the previous 24 hours. I will expect you to check your email daily and therefore expect responses if it's required in about the same amount of time. Feel free to email me if you have any questions and typical turnaround for questions is 24 hours. I'll, within 24 hours of when you email me, expect to receive an email ba back in response. 
In-person help sessions are available before each test. If you cannot attend the in-person help sessions, let me know, and we may be able to do something via video conference. I know this is technically possible, but I do not know how, and I'm not very familiar with the uh, with the advantages and disadvantages of this technology, so it will take a little bit of work for me to figure this out. Also be aware that test problems will closely imitate homework problems, and w as with just about any other class, this means that if you can do the homework, you can do the test. Class format. This class has a website, which is listed at the URL shown. There will also be handouts for each assignment. Please print these handouts before viewing the playlist. They include things like copies of the slides that are in the presentations I constructed, or copies of the problems at, uh, before they've been fully answered. It adds a degree of interactivity and helps simplify note-taking. There will also be a playlist of instructional videos posted on YouTube for each day. Some videos will include practice problems, either as part of the video or as what's called a Khan Academy module. These videos or the, these practice problems do not have to be turned in. They are for your practice only. Now, you should pause the video and actually do these practice problems when asked to. Otherwise, you'll be kind of clueless when it comes to the homework. But I will not collect the work that is done as part of the video. Besides, most of these problems uh, have solutions immediately after they're presented, so it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for me to collect it anyway. You should expect to watch uh, 60 to 90 mini minutes of videos every day. Although, if you watch it at higher speed, that will obviously cut down the amount of time you spend watching the videos. And I have no objections to you watching the videos at high speed. In particular, uh, I tend to talk a little more slowly or explain things a little more, uh, more slowly than some people would like. In terms of homework, you should expect 60 to 90 minutes of homework per day. You'll have to print out any sheets, and this is really the easiest way to do it because a lot of the calculations and other specialized notation that will be required for this class does not easily come across or it's not easy to execute on say a word processor or something like that. So print it up, grab yourself a pen or pencil, you'll save yourself a lot of time. You need to turn in any homework on the day that you take the corresponding test. So if you're taking test one, then you need to turn in the homework assignments that precede test one. The class format consists of three tests, which means roughly one test every week. Test one will cover limits and basic derivatives. Test two will cover derivatives and basic integrals. And test three will focus solely on integrals. The tests will be taken in person. Uh, the tests have to be taken in person on either Friday or Monday. I'll keep my calendar relatively free on those days to accommodate your schedules. Please arrange a time to meet me at Don Bosco Technical Institute. Contact me via email, and we'll figure something out. Also, if you have a job, then I can stay late so that you can get off work, maybe get, have a little bit of a break, and then come over to Bosco Tech. Hopefully, you can get off work early so I don't have to stay too late. Finally, if you're unable to come to Bosco Tech, for example, if you're out of town for an extended period of time, let me know and I may be able to accommodate you. All right, in general, some uh, re reflecting this idea of integrity that I talked about earlier, I did not create all of this stuff all the stuff for this class. So not all the content of this class is original content. In particular, the first two lessons will include YouTube videos from Khan Academy and another pretty good resource called passcalculus.com. Other sources will be uh, will be acknowledged as they come up. 
Okay, that's it for the class overview. Next is going to be a video on how to watch videos at high speed. Yes, this is a video on how to watch videos. I fully appreciate the irony of that. Here is a link to the video. However, you should not need that if you're watching this through a YouTube playlist. It should start automatically.